I was at home during the storm and it was awful. Nobody thought this typhoon was going to be this strong. I'm the principal of Hopwood Middle School and most of the tin roofs ended up on the school grounds. I cried when I saw the state of it. It was really hard finding supplies and just about anything after the storm. My family and I slept the night for the most part, but as the typhoon got worse, one of our house's walls came off. Our fridge got blown out and we found it afterwards a few blocks away. I mean so fast, without much time to make too much preparations. Most of my home blew away. There was no power and no clean water for four days. That's around three o'clock in the afternoon. We're already preparing to leave our house because it's semi-concrete. So we pack as much as our stuff as we can get, like our clothes, um, food. And I have my three and a half year old with me. So I'm carrying him, carrying all our important stuff, the groceries. My husband, on the other hand, is packing up his um, chainsaw, his boots, like the coolers, just to prepare, you know, in the, in the case that we have to come back and he has to chainsaw his way back home. It is through our shared love for our islands and our homes that we will sustain one another in the Marianas. We are with you. As we rebuild our community, we will renew our spirits. We're bringing relief supplies from donated by the Naval Exchange, by the Chaplain Corps in Guam, as well as Coast Guard families and community, and FEMA. It's a long road ahead, uh, but we're happy to do whatever we can to help. The add-on part, we brought, we're going to bring a couple of chainsaws to help out what we have until our equipment gets here. We have some backhoes, of course, any horizontal mission that goes here to do for some debris clearing. I've been working with the mayor's office for the past four days doing um, their staging area in Asgono. So that's where you can drop off your debris, greenways, tin, and lumber. And right now I'm currently attached with the 1224th engineers as well as Hulu company that just arrived. And we'll be doing more recovery missions. is what disaster cleanup looks like. Every day, truckload after truckload makes it here to the Asgano extended staging area, where you can see the, all these piles are behind me. Put this in perspective, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Just four days ago, there was just one small pile of this tin. And now you can see how it expands in both directions as far as you can see.
here setting up a water filtration system, converting ocean water to drinkable water for the residents here. So it's called a rope view system. Uh, it brings in ocean water through a hose. It goes through these filters in this machine over here, and it's brought over to these water bladders where after it gets cleared through a test, we can start handing it out to the residents. We're working, we're working hard, uh, 24 hours since we got here. We want to make sure you get water, we want to make sure you're safe, and we want to make sure you can sleep well at night knowing that we're helping you.